Hi, this is Oliver Lucanus from Below Water. Today I want to invite you for a swim with the common Serpe tetra, Hufesor brucon equis. They are often mistakenly called Serpe or Callistus, but those names are synonyms of Hufesor brucon equis that was described much earlier, back in 1882. Not surprising, because the easily recognized species is also widespread in the Guapore and in Paraguay basin, spread over a wide region of Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay and Argentina. You could find these fish in many habitats, but especially in medium-sized rivers, along the margins, or in very dense vegetation, even in deeper water. There are lots of predators here, Hoplias, Crenicicla, Salminus, Piranhas, and others. And these bright red tetras stand out, so they're generally not seen in open water. Serpe tetra are found in cool water, south of the Amazon basin, and down into Argentina where they can be seen in the Esteros de Libera in water temperatures of just 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius. Even in Canada, we can keep this species outside during the summer months. In the headwaters of the Pantanal, small rivers like the Rio da Prata drain into the Serra de Boroquena mountains into the immense wetland below. The water here is also cool, reaching only around 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius as it emerges from the ground. At higher temperatures, this beautiful fish not only loses the brilliant red coloration, but it is also considerably more aggressive, not only towards conspecifics, but also towards other fish. This simple fact is often overlooked, and the Serpe tetra is sold as a community fish. Housed with guppies, angelfish, guramis, or other slow-moving fish, they can be problematic and develop a habit of nipping at the fins of the other fish. The community of tetras here includes Mancausia bonito and Astyanax marione, but this serpe also like to be near the large Prochilotus and Leporinus because they disturb the substrate and the small Hufesobrucon can grab the particles kicked up into the water column. Housed in the right company with other cool water tolerant species that are equally active and don't get too stressed if their fins are occasionally nipped, they make good community fish. Because of the huge range of Hephaestobrucon equus, it's not easy to establish what species would make an appropriate biotope for them. The largest groups of Serpe tetras I've observed were found in the black waters of the Rio Salobra, one of the larger rivers of the Brazilian Pantanal wetland. Here in the lowland of the Pantanal, the water is stained by tannins and the water movement is still swift. In this dark stained water there are different plants, less sort plants and dense surface cover from the water hyacinth at the surface. Here in the tea stained water of around 72 degrees Fahrenheit or 22 degrees Celsius, groups of up to 2000 serpe tetras share the shallow water with a number of well-known aquarium fish, including Characidium zebra, Aphiocharax rathbuni, Monkhausia sancti philomenae, Hufesa brucon ulre, Apistogramma, and Corridoras hastatus. The small fish never stray far from the substrate because that open water is full of fish looking to eat them. Even the shallow water is not safe because Hoplias and Salminus will go into the very shallow water to hunt. And at night, stingrays come into the shallows and feed on those small fish sleeping along the shore. Make sure to subscribe to this channel at the end of the video. We finally figured out how to digitize our mini DV tapes from the 1990s and there will be tons of new fish below water content coming in the next month.